it is Miss Alex here, and today we will be having French with Miss Alex. Now, I know um, in the previous video, I showed you on my whiteboard, and I told you that this was something that you can utilize, like if you have a dry erase board of any size um, during this time inside for the quarantine. And today, I'm going to use it with you guys. I told you I used this when I need it. I just used it a few days ago to get um, help me with something. And now I'm gonna use it again for you all. So today I am going to be showing you guys, well not just showing you guys, but also giving you guys a little mini lesson on French. I'm gonna give you some small words from French, some easy to learn words. Some, you, some people may know, some people may not know them, and even some questions that they ask in French. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start you off with some easy words. All right, so I'm gonna start you off with five words that you probably would learn um, if you were a beginner learning French. So these are actually gonna be some of the easiest things you learn. So we have bonjour, au revoir, oui, non, and merci. Now I'm going to pronounce these for you one by one. Bonjour. And bonjour means hello. So this is how you would greet people and speak in France. So like how we walk around every day. Hi, hello, hey. They say bonjour, 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 bonjour. Now, for our next word, we have au, au revoir. Au revoir. I know I'm saying it, it sounds a little weird, but that's the best I can say it. But it's au, A-U, au revoir. Au revoir. And that means goodbye in French. So, you know how we always say, see you later, bye-bye, bye. They say au revoir. They have other ways that they say goodbye as well. But I'm just going to show you this one. And, yeah. So, au revoir, au revoir, good bye. Now, our next one, and I think everyone just about knows this one, but I still was going to include it anyway, we. Oui. I know that the letters may say O-U-I, and you will be thinking, we? Oui? But yes, in French, O-U-I stands for we. Oui. And we, for French people, is yes. Like how in Spanish, you say si for yes. In French, you say we. Oui. So, we oui, we, oui, it means yes. All right, let's write that down. We, oui. O-U-I, we. Oui. So, would you like to go to the park today? We. Oui. Did you have a good time? Wee oui, wee. Oui. Yes. All right, this next one is N O N. Sorry if my N looks like a U. Is but it's N O N and that's non. And in French, non is no. That means no. Did you enjoy yourself today? No. No. So you got we oui for yes, non for no. And one thing I like to point out about French words, you rarely will pronounce the final the final letter. I'm sorry, that's yes, but the final letter. So there will be some letters that you don't sound out, that you won't hear, even though it's spelled out. So like no, you're not going to say none. You're going to say no. So basically, you kind of just, you hear the last N in a way, but if you really just sit and listen, you really don't hear it. So no. No, 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 not none, no. It's kind of like you're saying no in a fancy way, no. <laughs> All right, so let's write that. Let me write this down, and then we're gonna get to the final word in this round. I'm just gonna go ahead and write it down, just for the sake of time. So we can move on to our final set. All right, so last one, you have M-E-R-C-I. Mercy, mercy, in a way, mercy. 
And that means thank you. Merci. M-E-R-C-I. Merci. Thank you. All right. You just passed the first round. Now, we're going to erase this set. And I'm going to add the questions that people ask in French. Now, I wrote out four more things that I'm going to teach you today. And I'm going to say them slowly, repeat them so you can hear how they're supposed to sound. And yeah. So. All right, now this one, I'm going to move the board around. So you got two ways to say this first, um, to ask this first question. So you got, comment, vous appelez-vous? So let's go back. Comment vous appelez-vous? Comment vous appelez-vous? And then you have the other one, which is, comment t'appelles tu So you got, comment, comment vous appelez-vous? And then you have, Come here, tapella Oh, I'm sorry. Come here, tapella too. So both of those mean, what is your name? So if someone asks asks you, come here, vous appelle vous, or come here, tapella too, they're asking what's your name, and you would respond and say, je m'appelle your name. So for an example, come here, vous appelle vous. Comment appelle to? Je m'appelle Miss Alex. Or if I don't, or if I'm actually in a setting with someone that's in France, comment vous appelle vous? Comment ça? Comment? Comment tu appelles tu? Je m'appelle Alexandria. So you should practice that at home. Comment vous appelle vous? Comment t'appelle tu? Je m'appelle. Who are you? All right, and I'm gonna write down Je m'appelle at the end so you can see how to spell Je m'appelle. Je m'appelle, and you can just get you some practice. So remember, what's your name? Number two, I'm sorry if you can't read this. Comment allez-vous? Comment allez-vous? Then that means how are you? Comment allez-vous? Comment allez-vous? Remember how I said you're not going to pronounce every single letter? This is comment. But they don't say comment. They say in France, comment. Comment. And then you got A L L E Z, which you would think allez, because you know it's a Z in there. But it's comment allez-vous. And then vous, you're not saying vous. You're saying vous. V-O-U. All you hear is the V-O-U. You don't really hear the S. Come, come allez-vous? Which means, how are you? Children, come allez-vous? And you all will respond and tell me, how are you? If you were to ask me, Miss Alex, come allez-vous? Um, I'm doing pretty good. Had a pretty good day. Thanks for asking. Okay. Now the third one, je ne comprends pas, je ne comprends pas, je ne comprends pas. I, I don't, I don't understand. I don't speak French, I don't understand. Um, basically that's what you're telling them. So if somebody, if you were in France, let's say you were visiting on a vacation or a tour or something, and then somebody comes up and they're speaking to you and you're speaking, um, they're speaking French, and then it's not a part, it's not French that you know yet, you're still learning or still getting familiar with the language, you would say, je ne, je ne comprends pas, to let them know you don't understand or you don't speak it. Which is great, because that way they can help you, show you around and teach you, and you can learn something new while on your trip, tour, etc. Now, last but not least, this one is pretty simple. I had to include this one because I know I use this a lot, just like on a regular day. And you know, we already know what it means once you hear it. Excusez-moi. 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 Excuse me. So excusez-moi. 
excuse me, excuse me, moi, excuse me. You're trying to get by. Um, you're trying to move past someone without rudely moving past them or pushing them accidentally or bumping them. Excuse me, moi, to acknowledge your presence and that you're trying to get by. Or if you have something to say and you see someone engaged in a conversation, you're always supposed to say, excuse me, excuse me, moi. Thank you for coming to French with Miss Alex. I really had fun. I hope we do this again. Um, oh, I'm supposed to spell J. Mappel for you. J. Mappel. J. Mappel. Je m'appelle, je m'appelle, je m'appelle Miss Alex. Now I'm gonna put all. Of, I'm gonna put something in a sentence for you. Bonjour, bonjour. Comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Bonjour, comment vous appelez-vous? Bon, hello. What is your name? Bonjour, je m'appelle Alexandria. Hello, my name is Alexandria. Miss Alex, for short. <laughs> Excuse moi. Je ne comprends pas. Excuse me. I don't understand. Thanks for coming. See you guys later. Enjoy your time inside. Continue to keep up with your work. Have fun. Discover new things. Try new things. Enjoy your family time. Keep in touch with your friends. Stay active. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Thinking of you all. And I can't wait to see you all again. And... Until next time, my friends.